Hello, hello, fam. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you're new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Insta because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to all my oldies but goodies. Guys, these lipsticks have been launching so fast and so much. And here we are. Oh my God. NYX just released their Smooth Whip Matte lip cream that's a whole lot going on i don't even know what that means are we getting whip matte creamy all in one but is it gonna last who knows we're actually gonna do a little eat test today yeah yeah so hi if you are new what i do is lip swatch everything at the very very beginning in studio lighting and in daylight by the way the sun is going in and out so, so i have my fingers crossed that the sun stays out for the next two hours while we film you know there are 12 new shades i bought them all at ulta and i'm so excited but let me show you this first one is kitty belly and let's see oh okay it is matte ish I mean creamy I mean whipped oh if you're wondering why I look crusty is because I have nothing on my lips right now I don't ever wear lip liner or anything on my lips when I lip swatch a lipstick for you so you can see the actual color in studio lighting and in daylight so that's why we look like this I'll show you the order we're gonna go in on my phone and let's start the lip swatches oh my gosh fam look how cute these little babies are oh okay so so this is the order we're gonna go in kind of lightest to darkest nudes reds and then the darkest shades the shade names and numbers are here at the bottom oh let's do it first one up is number two kitty belly This is the shade Kitty Belly. And in daylight, this is Kitty Belly. Next one up is number three, Latte Foam. This is Latte Foam. And in daylight, this is Latte Foam. Next one up is number four, Teddy Fluff. This is the shade Teddy Fluff. In daylight, this is Teddy Fluff. Next one up is number five, Parfait. This is the shade Parfait. And in daylight, this is Parfait, I think. <laughs> Next one up is number six, Faux Fur. the shade faux fur and in daylight this is faux fur oh starting off with the red pink shade this is b-day frosting Number nine, Beat A Frosting. This is the shade Beat A Frosting, and in daylight, this is Beat A Frosting. Ooh, the pink shade. This is number 10, Pillow Fight. This is the 
shade pillow fight. And in daylight, this is pillow fight. Next one, cherry cream. This is the shade cherry cream. And in daylight, this is cherry cream. Going with the plum purple shade, number 14, Velvet Robe. This is the shade Velvet Robe. And in daylight, this is Velvet Robe. Moving on to number eight, Fuzzy Slippers. This is the shade Fuzzy Slippers. And in daylight, this is Fuzzy Slippers. Next one up is Berry Bed Sheet. <laughs> Berry Bed Sheet. And in daylight, this is Berry Bed Sheet. Last but not least is number 15, Chocolate Mousse. This is the shade Chocolate Mousse. And in daylight, this is Chocolate Mousse. This is the 12th and final lip swatch. Before we get started, let me give you some info about these. The new NYX Smooth Whipped Blurring Matte Lip Cream retail for $8. It comes in 12 shades, giving all day blurring sensation while nourishing your lips for all day wear that will not crack. Designed with a scoop applicator that hugs your lips for perfect application. Delivers maximum color payoff in one swipe. These are very pigmented. The applicator picks up very little product, so you will have to dip in a couple of times to really coat your lips. I found that that was weird because you get so much pigment, but you have to scoop it back in. I mean, it's not that bad because the applicator is small and smaller applicators tend to work really nice if you have smaller lips or if you have lips that don't have a defined cupid's bow like me applicator was very easy to use however the type of lipstick this is because it's a moussey kind of went all over the place i kept messing up because it's just that formula it's this smooth whip feeling that you can easily mess up and i found myself messing up the entire time so i'm not sure how matte these are either because i feel hydration the whole time i don't feel like it's showing much texture it does show a little bit of texture especially when i got to the first shade here you can really see the texture and i believe this pink one right here the pillow fight you can really see it you had to build up and it kind of looked a little bit patchy talking about patchy the purple one too berry bed sheets was very patchy but a lot of times plum shades are patchy apply a very thin layer it'll look patchy let that dry down for like a minute or two and then go back in with the second layer and get the full pigment out of the product these do have a scent they have like a yeah it's like a cake you know what oh cake batter 
that's what it smells like yeah i was like reminds me of something you know but once it's on the lips you can't really smell it i want to show you these swatches here but you see how wet they are still and it's been maybe about five minutes i do want to show you these swatches in sunlight so you can see how pigmented and the undertones i really like that each shade is very very different with different undertones and you can see the pigment here these also definitely stain the last four shades it's like i already had lipstick on because my lips were super 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 stained but i also lip swatched 12 staining kind of started with the pink one so fyi let's see if it's transfer proof oh a little bit I thought the way it feels, it feels like a lipstick, but it's not transferring like your typical satin lipstick, huh? It's kind of interesting because it feels lightweight and I feel like the longer you have them on, the lighter weight it feels on your lips. But as they're drying, and now that I took that first layer off by kissing my hand, you can see they're a little bit more matte. I think they are good. They're very, very pigmented and you get what they're saying it is. It's a smoothing whip matte lipstick, but the matte part is when you let it dry for a while. They're so wet and creamy. It will take some time to dry down. The only shade I didn't like is this first one. It's just too peachy for me. It just, you know, it didn't go with me, but that's personal preference. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go get some food. I'll insert that footage here. It's been about maybe like 30 minutes, so let's see. Oh, it's still a little bit transferring. I got Salvadorian food. If you guys don't know, I am Salvadorian and Honduran. Here's some casamiento, which is beans and rice mix. Here I have platanos. Okay, I started eating already. Well, kind of. I nibbled with frijoles and crema. And then pupusas, of course, revueltas. If you go to a Salvadorian restaurant, you have to get the queso duro. It has to be the hard one. This one comes straight from El Salvador. It smells, but it is so good. Start with the casamiento. Let's see how much transfer we get. Mm, it's transferring on the fork. You see that? Oh, with pupusas, you top it with this salsa. It's not spicy. And then pickled cabbage and carrots and stuff. We just top it on top of here. Oh wait, we have to try the beans. We have to try the beans. Mm. Mm. And you have to eat it with cheese. Damn these beans. Mm. Take me back. Take me back to my childhood. Mm -hmm. mm. So the salsa always comes in this bag. So I always put it in a cup so it doesn't tip over. Pour it on my pupusa. And then with pupusas, you eat them with your hands. There's no other way. I have a fork here, but you know. Like this. I don't use curtido on my pupusas. Everyone thinks I'm crazy when I tell them. No lie, this lipstick's looking good. Platano, so good. And you eat it with the beans? Mm. Let me know. Next lip swatch eat test. Let me know what kind of food I should get. I'm open to most foods. I love the summer. The sun's out until like 8.30. Amazing. You guys, this lipstick's lasting through a lot of food. But look, it's getting everywhere. But it's staying on the lips. It's fading a little. I tilt my phone. So I keep looking this way instead of this way. So I'm not looking in the camera because I'm confused. <laughs> All right, fam. I just finished eating. Look how good this looks. It smears. You see that? Top again. It has this like longevity. And it feels comfortable. It feels like there's nothing on the lips. Definitely survived salvi food. So that's a good deal. We made it to the end of the day and we still have some of the lipstick. So it's now been what, like five hours after food and everything. I feel like the longevity is more of a lip stain look that you'll get. But it kind of stops smearing. So all in all, this is a yes for me. I like it. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Let me know which one is your favorite and do you plan on picking these up? And oh my God, before I go, thank you to everyone who tagged me on Nick's post when they revealed these. I got so many tags. Thank you guys so much because it's so helpful when I know what you guys want to see. So yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.